What exactly is this beast of trading world called as Bollinger Bands? Why does everyone keep talking about it? Why is it so important for every trader? Yes, Bollinger Bands holds a lot of relevance for traders, especially the short term traders, intraday traders, swing traders. Why do they use this so commonly in their trading techniques? We'll try to understand what Bollinger Band is and what is the relevance of it. Hi there, I'm Sitesh and I welcome you all to YouTube channel Trade Brains. If you're new to our channel, please comment, like and subscribe on our videos and please don't forget to press the bell notification icon. So through this video, I'll be covering the following topics. First, we'll try to understand what is Bollinger Bands and what are the various components of it. Then we'll try to understand what is the biggest mistake which every trader should avoid by using Bollinger Bands. Then we'll also try to understand a few trading strategies which can be used and which actually have better results by using Bollinger Bands. So let us jump right into our discussion. So what is Bollinger Bands? So the concept of Bollinger Band was introduced by John Bollinger and it has become very famous in the world of trading. There are basically three components to a Bollinger Bands. The first one is the upper band, the second one is the lower band and then we have a middle line. Now what are these three important components? The top one is the two standard deviation, the lower one is the minus two standard deviation and the standard deviation comes from middle line which is a 20 period simple moving average. So these are three important components. Why do we use two standard deviation? Because the market has a tendency to trade within that range. Any event outside those events generally comes in the outlier events. So which is where for the sake of repetitiveness and simplicity the two sigma Bollinger Bands are used. Although it's a very volatile market people use three sigma also and in the worst cases people also have used four sigma and five sigma Bollinger Bands. But generally we use two sigma Bollinger Bands and sometimes three sigma Bollinger Bands. Now what are the biggest mistakes which a trader makes? Now what happens normally when you plot a Bollinger Bands, the market goes towards a two sigma Bollinger Bands on the upside or the downside, we think it's a buying opportunity or a reversal. But most importantly, we have to understand what is the ongoing trend in the market. If we follow the trend, then the Bollinger Band makes a lot of difference. Just merely trading based on Bollinger Band is never a great strategy and you are bound to make a lot of errors and you are bound to lose a lot of money. Because the market will keep trending, you will feel that the Bollinger Band should have made money for me but you know when the market trends, it just keeps going in that direction. So follow the trend and apply Bollinger Band on it and if it then gives you trade signals, take based on that. Don't just apply Bollinger Band and just take blind trades. Now that we have understood what are the trading strategies to avoid, let us try to understand what are the best trading strategies which one can use while using the Bollinger Bands. So the first strategy which we will be trying to understand that the long period of squeeze. So I call it long period of squeeze because the market is trading in a range and we try to understand how do we apply the Bollinger Bands. So this is the chart of Tata Motors and if you see in the chart, the market is stuck in a tight range. It is trading in a small band and it looks like a more of a sausage kind of band and the market is not giving any indication about where the market wants to go. So this is the point when you know that any side if the market opens up there is bound to be a major move in that side. So which is where we apply Bollinger Band on those kind of tight squeeze market and wait for a breakout. Once the breakout happens, you know you're going to get a good opportunity. And if you look at this chart right now, the market was trading in this range and once the explosion happened, that is once the market went out of the range which it was trading into, the trade, the Bollinger Bands also drifted along with it and it gave you a very very good long trades in the market. And what happens is this, once that happens, the stop losses become very good for you. If the market starts trending on the one side, always keep the middle line or the lower, lower Bollinger as your stop loss and keep riding the gains in the market. Because a trending market keeps drifting and if you are with the trend, you are bound to catch major moves in it. If supposedly in this case, if you had entered your long somewhere around the 180 levels, just by keep trading your stop losses, you would have made a gain of nearly 100 to 120 rupees per share. So that is the power of drifting market and that is the power of trend when using Bollinger Bands. The next strategy which every trader should follow is, I call it, in the trending market, how do you trade a Bollinger Band. So this is how the chart looks like. Now this is again a chart of Nifty. As we can see that the market is in an upward momentum, there's a bullish momentum in the market. Supposedly if the market is drifting on the upside, wait for the market to keep coming to your mid Bollinger or the middle line and take a long entries because the trending market will keep drifting up along with it the band will also keep drifting up and you'll keep making money and the best thing about it is you keep your stop losses if the stop loss is not triggered keep writing the gains you're going to make a decent gain out of it so the two trading strategy which we've understood in this conversation of ours is first was the long period of squeeze which is like a sausage if the market breaks out it gives you a very good trade and the second was how do you trade trending market using the Bollinger Bands so let's quickly recap what we learned in our discussion. The first is 
always follow the trend never use bollinger band to trade against the trend you might get short term gains out of it but for a long career or for a long trading strategy to be followed never go against the trend if the trend is saying that the market is drifting on the upside even if the market keeps going above the 2 sigma or 3 sigma wait for a dip and look for a buy rather than shorting at that point and losing money on it so a second point which we learned was that the squeeze in the market is likely to be followed by a breakout as i showed the example of tata motors when the market was squeezed there we saw a drift in the market and we saw a major move in the coming in the market the third important factor is always keep attention on a 20 period simple moving average the middle bollinger plays a vital role when the market is moving in certain direction if the market is going up as and when the market comes to that middle bollinger it gives an opportunity to go long and if the market is going down if the market is coming towards the middle bollinger it gives an opportunity to short in the market and fourth and the most important point always have a stop loss for a trade never trade in any market without any stop loss keep your stop losses keep trading the stop losses and keep riding the gain so eventually if the market hits your stop loss you have made certain money on it so that is it from us in understanding the concept of bollinger band do let us know if you have any more questions we'll be more than glad to answer it i thank you for your patient hearing i'll again see you in the next chapter of financial education thank you so much